have a discussion with you about interviews. When you are preparing for interviews, it is important to know about yourself. Most of the time, if you were an engineering student, your teacher in your class would have asked you or trained you to talk about yourself or market yourself. There was always this one particular task I had assigned my students to do. I would ask them to come before the class, stand facing their friends and tell them what they have accomplished. Tell them or ask them to sell themselves. Yes, my dear friends, during an interview, you become the product. It is very important for you. Remember, if you are going shopping, don't you pick up the best things for yourself? That is how hiring managers also work. They pick up the best product and the product is you. To begin with, I would ask you to prepare a checklist. Let's call this checklist employment data sheet. So what exactly do you have to know as far as the employment data sheet is concerned? Know about yourself, your name, your address, your contact information like your mobile and email addresses, your Skype ID in case you have to give an interview online and other kind of information that pertains to your employment history. Make sure you know the start date and the end date of projects you have worked in. It's important because you will be showing or you will be demonstrating your employment, your tasks, the projects you have completed to your potential hiring manager. Make sure you know the names of your supervisors who have guided you in the process. If you have had leadership roles as well as other responsibilities, make sure you record them in order in accordance to the dates. This will help you to prepare yourself to get to know yourself better when you talk to your hiring manager and you will be able to demonstrate and show them what they ask. Make sure you have a list of your educational qualifications, your trainings, your diploma or your certifications whatever you have. Make sure you are able to talk about your credentials. Yes, my dear friends, you have your employment histories, roles and responsibilities structured well in your resume or your CV. But in this employment data sheet, the checklist which I am asking you to prepare, add descriptions about the responsibilities that was handed over to you, the duties you had done. This will help you to communicate better. Now, let me move on to another aspect. A very important aspect as to how you can impress your hiring managers and what exactly are they looking for. It is important. First, to demonstrate a large amount of confidence. That's what they want. Educational qualification might be at the same level as the others who have come in order to attend the interview along with you. But the matter of confidence you project or that emerges from you would convince your hiring manager that you are the right candidate. There are other characteristics which you would have to inculcate or project or demonstrate, show it to your hiring manager. Courage and persuasion. A very important aspect that you would have to show your hiring manager. I will tell you why this is very important. Courage would show 
your determination to get the job when you go for your interview. Persuasion happens to be a very important skill where you can talk to your hiring manager and convince them to hire you. Show them or tell them why you are the right candidate for that particular job. Yes, my friends, courage to show how much will you are willing to take yourself forward in order to acquire the job, in order to take up challenges and complete them will impress your hiring manager. The next one, ethics and beliefs. Talking in terms of ethics and beliefs, let me tell you a little uh, incident from my life. There was this particular interview I gave over Skype and while I was giving this interview, the person, my hiring manager asked me if I could take up or report for the job within a month. My dear friends, I refused. I told my hiring manager that it was impossible for me to take up the job within a month. I quoted my reason saying that I had already committed to a particular project and it would take at least another three months for me to complete that job. I told the hiring manager that it was important for me and as far as my belief or my standards of ethics is concerned, I never leave anything incomplete. I make sure whatever I have agreed upon is completed, handed over to the concerned person and then move on from there to my next job. The hiring manager was impressed with my reply and my commitment towards my work. So looking at the loyalty I have towards my commitment and a project that I had taken, the hiring manager was ready to wait for me for another three months before I reported for this particular job. Isn't that wonderful? Your honesty pays well as well as your loyalty because then what I did was I convinced or I demonstrated to my hiring manager that if I had a commitment, I'm never going to let them down because I have another offer waiting for me and that's better than what I have now. So your beliefs, your ethics and your values really matter to the hiring manager as they are expecting loyalty from your end. Work orientation and stamina. This is going to demonstrate the intensity of pressure you're willing to take. Not all jobs come without stress and pressure. They all require a kind of a commitment from you in order to complete the task on time, especially if you are working with a client base. So make sure whatever task you are taking up is completed on time and handed over with perfection. So be ready to demonstrate to your hiring manager that you are a person who can take any level of stress or pressure and still be composed. Projecting your mental ability to handle stress and pressure well can help you win the heart of the hiring manager. The next aspect is interpersonal skills as well as charm. There might be situations in which you would have to talk to people, build up relationship and be very diplomatic. Make sure that you can handle that well. Talk well, thank them, make sure you do not hesitate because you would have to project that level of confidence I was talking about earlier. Project 
your level of confidence. Make sure whatever doubts you have, you ask your hiring manager. Get to have an understanding about your work. Focus. Focus happens to be another important aspect the hiring manager is looking for. The focus to move towards your goals. Talking about goals, you can think in terms of short-term and long-term goals. Your short-term goals should be focused towards your long-term goals. They should be small little steps you take in order to achieve your long-term goal, which would be fruitful and which could be your dream of success. So make sure you demonstrate this particular aspect of setting goals and moving towards your goals with determination and focus. The next thing would answer a big question which most of the hiring managers ask you. Where do you see yourself 5 or 10 years from now? Speaking in terms of big pictures, big dreams you have for yourself, this particular question, where do you see yourself 5 years or 10 years from now, would show the hiring manager the dreams, the ambition you have for yourself. Talk to them and show them, demonstrate through your words about the big picture you have for your life and the determination to succeed. I hope these tips would be handy and helpful for you to plan your interview.